YouTube, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna be fixing blurry and unloaded textures in Fortnite. So if you're tired of your game looking like Roblox, you come to the right place. We're gonna go ahead and fix it up, get your game looking good again, and, and get those performance mode issues fixed for you. If you guys are new to my channel, first of all, I just wanna say what's up. My name's Cameron, and I do a bunch of these guides and how-to videos, so if that thing helps you out, drop a like, drop a subscribe. I appreciate you greatly. And because this video is going up on Christmas Eve, I hope you guys have really wonderful memories and good times with your family out there. I wish you guys a really wonderful end of the year holiday. But let's just jump right in. So first up guys, I do wanna let you guys know 100% this issue almost always happens on performance mode. It can happen on DX11 and DX12, but primarily on performance mode. So if you guys are having the issue on performance mode, this guide is specifically catered to you because I had this issue last night was able to get the blurriness fixed out. It was a texture loading issue, so we'll go into how to resolve those issues right now. First, I wanna go over why this is happening. If you're having high pixelation or blurry or staticky looking screens um, or unloaded textures, this is almost always due to the fact that there's some type of trouble that your graphics card is having running the game and there's several factors to what could be happening here and all these steps in this video will troubleshoot and fix those issues so the first thing i do want to have you guys first check is to make sure your 3d resolution is maxed now if you're playing down here at 25 percent let me show you what it looks like it looks terrible i can't wait to see how high quality my game is going to be this is going to be so great it's going to be crisp and clear it's going to be like 4k gonna have zero pixels oh my god i can't see anything did i forget to put my glasses on this morning i can't even read anything <laughs> i'm as blind as a bat boys i can't see anything okay so now we address the first step make sure your 3d resolution is maxed the next thing you want to go ahead and check is what rendering mode you're in if you're in performance mode try direct x11 or direct x12 if you have a newer graphics card and the reason you want to switch from performance to dx11 or dx12 because if that fixes your issue, then it's something going on with performance mode. Um, I'd recommend switching back to performance mode. I've done that a bunch of times, like I've had to switch to a different rendering mode and then back to performance mode in order to fix some type of glitch or error that was going on in performance mode. So there you go. That's like the first easy tip is try loading the game in a different rendering mode and see if it works first. And then you can go back to whatever your desired rendering mode is like performance mode but yeah i mean it's it says beta guys so i mean because it is in a beta form it's it's got some bugs it's got some weird things going on with it but i just thought i'd mention that um so yeah the next thing that i'd want you guys to check is capping your frame rate so a lot of people play on limited if you have a set hertz uh monitor like a 120 144 240 hertz monitor change it to that hertz of your monitor Capping your frames per second will give your graphics card more ability to load those textures or the blurriness in your game and it can help resolve all that because then your game or your graphics card isn't trying to render a million frames, it's trying to just um, basically load whatever's on the screen which will be those textures. And the last thing I want you guys to check is if you're playing in windowed or windowed full screen, switch it to full screen and see if that resolves your issue because a lot of times there can just be some issues going on uh, with background apps or things going on in the background. But when you're in full screen, it doesn't allow for other applications to be ran, or at least they're in standby until you switch to them when you're in full screen. There is one last setting, which is kind of the most obvious, so I don't know why I didn't change this. Textures. So if you're having trouble with textures still and uh, all these things haven't changed it, you can switch this up to high or epic. And what this will do is focus more energy from your GPU on loading textures. So that can be a huge help, actually. If you haven't done that, that's the thing that I would recommend doing is higher Epic. All right, so for the next thing I'm gonna have you guys do is load up your Epic Games Launcher. And so what we're gonna do together here is basically just run a collective uh, quality check on your game files. All you do to do that is click on these little three options buttons below your Fortnite game, and then click on verify. It just checks all your game files to make sure there's no errors or bugs going on in the actual game settings or game files themselves, and that can resolve a ton of issues. The next thing you'd want to do while this is going on is check your NVIDIA control panel settings. There's a few texture quality settings I want you guys to make sure are good. This doesn't apply to AMD or Intel users, so just skip to the next step. 
if you're not on an NVIDIA graphics card. Right, so on this screen here, you see where it says manage 3D settings, the second option from the top. You can click on that. Um, so the option I want you guys to make sure is off is all these anti-aliasing features. Make sure all these ones are turned off. If you have any of those on, it can definitely hinder. Uh, it's post-processing -pro for your graphics and it can cause some issues sometimes, unless you have a really high-end, nice graphics card. Um, other thing I want you guys to do, ooh, I don't have low latency mode on. I'm gonna put on ultra. Uh, there's a little tip for you guys if you wanna remove some of your um, your input lag, make sure low latency mode is on ultra. I know that's a different thing, but uh, the thing I want you guys to look at also for making sure you're getting the best um, quality possible, well, the best picture in performance mode is make sure that you have high performance mode on for texture filtering quality. All right, so those things could have resolved all your issue. Try it again if you've made it this far. If that didn't fix it, then we're gonna hire Steve Jobs to come into your home and reprogram your computer. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just take a look at some game setting files. You're gonna go to your desktop. You're gonna go to the bottom left down here. Type in percent local app data percent sign. This will pull up a folder. If you see this file folder, you spelt everything right. That's percent local app data. Go ahead and click on that. So once you're in local app data, what you're gonna do is look for Fortnite game. You'll see a file in there. It says Fortnite game. Once you locate that, it's really simple. All you're gonna do is just right click on it and then you click on rename. Um, so all we're doing is just slightly altering the name. I'm just gonna add a one at the end. And what this does is completely refresh your display settings and because your textures are involved with your display settings, this is very likely to help fix that issue. So after you do that, you just have to click off, it saves automatically, uh, you're good to go. Then you're gonna reload Fortnite so when you reload Fortnite, it'll ask you if you want to automatically apply the best settings for your system. Just click decline because it never finds the right settings anyways. All right. So when you first load into the game, um, your screen will look like, wow, I still have the 25% quality. Um, so your background will look weird. Uh, so you'll notice this like weird blue look global look. It's only the first time you log into Fortnite that it looks like this. So don't worry. Like once you refresh it, you'll have your normal background. Um, it's just because that's part of the display settings is your chapter's current um, thing. Anyway, so you're going to go ahead and change your rendering mode back to whatever you like. My favorite is performance mode and I'm going to restart. So there we have it, boys. I hope that you guys learned something, a thing or two. I hope that this actually resolved all your issues. If you're still having any other complications in Fortnite, let me know down in the comment section below. I love to hear them. Maybe I'll do a follow up video on something else that's going on in Fortnite. But as always, boys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.